Hi everybody, I'm Melissa and welcome back to cloudmom.com. Talking today about one of my most favorite issues, baby feeding and sleeping schedules. I think it's really the key to having a well-rested baby who's well-fed and to having a mom and dad who can hopefully catch a break now and then too. So today's video is about a schedule for a six to nine month old baby. At this stage, your baby likely has started to sample solids and is probably doing some longer stints at night. Love that! So it's a really, really nice stage. What does your baby's daily routine look like when your baby is between six and nine months of age? I'm gonna first talk about a napping schedule and then I'll talk about a schedule for milk and solids. Most babies at this stage are taking two to three naps a day. One morning nap from 9.30 to 11.30 or so, an afternoon nap from around 1.30 to 3.30, and then a shorter cat nap of 45 minutes to one hour later in the day at around 5.30 or 6 p.m. This is just a general guideline, and of course it varies tremendously from baby to baby. Some babies will do a shorter morning nap, a shorter afternoon nap. Some babies might do a shorter third cat nap. Some babies at this stage might have already started to drop that third cat nap, and actually I have a video on the transition from three to two naps, so check that out, check that out as well, but this is just a general guideline. Okay, so with that nap schedule in mind, when is my baby taking his or her milk? And this applies to whether your baby's being breastfed or formula fed. You will now be giving your baby milk four to five times during the day, approximately every four hours. At 7 a.m. when she wakes up, after her morning nap at 11.30 a.m., after her afternoon nap at 3.30 p.m. and at 7.30 p.m. after dinner and before bedtime. Your baby might still need a top-off feeding around 11 p.m. or one nighttime feeding. I always preferred to do the top-off feed, which usually allowed me to sleep from around 12 to 7 on most nights, not on all nights. However, some moms prefer not waking their baby and they might feed it around 2 or 3 a.m. So what about solids? Now at this stage, what my doctor told me is that it's really more about getting your baby used to sampling different types of tastes and textures and that the, variety, the majority excuse me, of the baby's nutrition is still coming from the milk. And maybe you've heard the old saying, food before one is just for fun. Well, that really sort of applies. However, it is a good idea to get into the routine of introducing solids to your baby. And I have another show about how and when, you know, you should do that in terms of solids. So check that out as well. With that in mind, when should you add these solids into your baby's day and how should the whole thing work? Let's take a look. Because it's more important that your baby have the milk for nutritional reasons, I believe in giving milk first and doing these meals after you've given the baby the milk. I would try to do it right afterwards. If your baby's not hungry at all, wait 20 or 30 minutes and try again. So now that we have a general idea of a napping schedule, of a milk schedule, and of a solid schedule, what does my baby's day look like all together? And I'm going to put a sample schedule up on my site as well, so check that out. 7 a.m., wake up and have a milk feeding. 7.30 a.m., have a solids breakfast. Yum! 9.30 a.m., nap number one. Mommy time! 11.30 a.m. or so, your baby's awake from the morning nap and you're doing a milk feeding. 12 o'clock p.m., a solids lunch, if desired. You can check with your doctor. Some say this is not necessary. 1.30 p.m., your baby's going down for his or her afternoon nap. 3.30 p.m., a milk feeding after your baby has woken up for his or her, from his or her afternoon nap. 6 to 7 p.m., nap three, a short nap. I would keep it to one hour maximum. 7 p.m., a solid dinner. And 7.30 p.m., your final milk feeding of the day. At around 8 p.m., we hope that little Mr. Jack or Miss Emma's going down for bed. And keep in mind that you're possibly doing a top-off feed at 11 p.m. or during the night. All of this is based on personal preference and you might find that even at, with the evening feed that you prefer to give the milk first. But I do think it's good to get a little bit in the habit of having that last nighttime bottle because that is what babies traditionally do and it seems to be something that they really like. So anyway, I hope this schedule is helpful to you. If any of you have experience 
with babies this age that you'd like to share in terms of what made it all work for you, please comment on my site at cloudmom.com. Thank you so, so much for watching my videos and I will see you next time. Thank you.